Hello, my friends. Happy Friday. Welcome to episode 94 of Why Did I Buy This? This series started as a way to help my crafters find unique ways to use products that they have in their collection. It's also a great series for new crafters who are wondering what they should get to be successful making paper crafts. My name is Lindsay. I am the team leader of Cloud9 Stampers, and today is my 19th anniversary with Stampin' Up! So I have been a demonstrator since 2003. I started in the first year that Stampin' Up! came to Canada, and I love my job. I love to teach, and I love crafts, and I love finding unique ways to use products. So this has been super fun for me to get to share with you guys. And 19 years is a long time, if you think about it, <laughs> if I think about it. Um, this is the longest job that I've ever had. Um, a little bit about me. I started Stampin' Up! when my first daughter was mm, just shy of a year. She's turning 20 in July. And I decided I really wanted to be able to stay home with her. I came from a career of conservation biology where I was doing nature interpretation for parks and for nature centers. And so um, this was a way that I could continue teaching, which was something I had a passion for. And I discovered that I love crafting too. So it's been really fun. Hello, friends. Yes, please say hi in the, in the comments. So yeah, if you're just tuning in, today is my 19th anniversary, stamp anniversary with Stampin' Up. Um, thank you guys all for your very sweet messages. I, um, you probably saw I had to miss my live last week. I ended up getting COVID. <laughs> you know, it was bound to happen. I'm feeling much better. Thank you. But, um, yeah, it was, uh, a long week because I was pretty tired. But anyway, I'm doing, I'm doing fine now. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Connie. Hi, Mary. Hi, Kathleen. Good to see you guys. Oh yes, Kristen, thank you. Yeah, you've been with me for a long time crafting, so you've seen all of the evolution of style, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you for all the anniversary messages. <clears throat> um, today, we have some fun projects to share. There's a couple of things I wanted to talk about. We have two different promotions that are happening right now. The first one, is called Savings in Bloom. So this is just for the month of March. And if you have not bought yourself a die cutting machine, you're gonna wanna do that this month because the die cutting machine, this Baby Boss, so the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, we call it the Baby Boss as like a, a nickname. Um, this one here is on sale. It's only 65.50 in Canada. It's normally $82. So this is a really great deal. So it's a good time to get it. We also have a bunch of our bundles from our mini catalog, or sorry, our annual catalog that are on sale. So you'll want to go ahead and check those out. They're all 20% off, all the ones that are selected. And so for those of you who are demonstrators, that means you get an additional 20% off of the 20% off. So it's a really great time to go ahead and get some of these popular bundles that are currently on sale. But that's not what we're talking about today. No, no, we're talking about a different promotion. So I'm gonna do the awkward transition so that you can see my hands and then we're gonna get started. So, bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna clip you in here so you can see what's going on on my workstation here. And zoom in, okay, perfect. So today we're talking about another promotion that's going on. It's not only happening in March, it's actually going through until the 2nd of May. And this is called the Waves of the Ocean promotion, which has a nice ring to it. Um, the thing that's super fun about this is you can buy the collection with one code that's this code that's listed in the description of this video but you can buy all of the products individually as well so there are there is a bundle with the stamp set and the dies there's beautiful designer series paper i love the foil paper and i'll show you that in a sec and you guys have heard me talk about this already these rhinestone waves basic jewels are just like for those of you who love pool party, you're gonna love that. Okay, <clears throat> so let me show you the products in real life. So first of all, we'll start with the bundle. So here we've got the Waves of Inspiration stamp set. It comes with greetings and with some photorealistic images. And then it has some coordinating dies. There are a couple of really fun 
sort of artistic waves. They look like they're the same, but if you line them up, you'll see that they're different. So they can be lined up with each other or you can do them separately, it's up to you. There is a couple of labels, which are always handy when you're working with greetings. There are some clouds, which, you know, given that my team name is Cloud9 Stampers, I'm always a fan of cloud everything. And then there's also this little cutout for the pelican guy that's in the stamp set. So that'll cut that one out. So lots of fun stylized things in this Waves collection. Then we've got some designer series paper. So let me bring that out. So this paper was handcrafted by um, Stampin' Up! Artists, and it's in some of my favorite colors. You can see the pool party peeking through there, as well as Calypso Coral, Blush Blushing Bride. There's some Granny Apple Green, some Daffodil Delight. And then it's got that feeling of, um, it reminds me kind of of like, um, there's a technique called fossil, a fossil, oh, do you guys remember? Okay, I've been doing this a long time. My age is starting to show. Um, it's called like fossilized paper or something like that. You, you'd you use plastic sheets and you put ink on them and then when you smush it onto the paper, it gives you that feeling. I'll have to show you guys it one day. It's really, really cool. Okay, so that's the designer series paper and then let me have you squeal and pee your pants for a second when you see this foil. So this foil is absolutely stunning. You can see we've got Coastal Cabana, Pacific Point, and then for those of you who are like, hey, where is the silver foil from? You can get the silver foil as part of this, um, this blue foils collection right now. So yeah, a couple of things to work with here for an ocean feel. Now, finally, we've got the Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels. And again, you've got all these different shades of blue. There's my pool party, and this is Coastal Cabana. It looks like this one here could be Granny Apple Green, Pacific Point. And then there's some Balmy Blue and um, kind of some in-between colors as well. Yeah, oh, Shauna, yes, it does look like paint pouring, the designer series paper. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started on our first project. I've already done a little bit of the pre-work. So I cut out one of the waves from the Coastal Cabana um, foil paper, and I've already put some of the adhesive sheets on the back. So when you peel it off, sometimes it's helpful if you get a pokey tool to get underneath it. Oh, look at my nails match the paper. <laughs> just for you, just because we're celebrating today. So I'm gonna bring in another piece of foil paper and what I'm going to do is line up the straight edge of the wave and we're going to lay that on top. And the nice thing about using the um, multi, uh, the adhesive sheets, that's the word I'm looking for, is that you don't have any glue that squishes out and makes any dullness happen on your foil paper. Now I'm going to bring in my snips and I'm just going to follow along those straight edges and I'm gonna try and do this quickly so it's not boring for you guys. Um, so we're just following the edge of the wave and because we've already lined up the bottom piece, we don't have to do any cutting there, so that was strategic. Just makes it a little bit faster and we're going all the way around like so and to the edge. So then you get this really beautiful layered texture on top of your wave, but you have it all like tone on tone. When you bring in a piece of designer series paper cut at three and three quarter by five inches, you've got this really fun movement happening on your card front. Now I've already die cut out one of those labels that's from that die set, and I'm going to bring in the happy birthday. I'll use Memento ink. And we're going to ink that up and stamp that onto the label, just like so. Now I wanted to be able to take advantage of this, these little edge pieces here to be able to use some ribbon. So I brought in that metallic mesh ribbon. And so we're going to thread this through the hole. And then we're going to bring that on the other side. And then we can use 
our background here and we're going to layer that on. So let me show you what the finished project looks like. Are you ready? There you have it. So you can see there's that metallic mesh, which is really fun because it adds to that feeling of ocean spray and movement that this designer series paper and the foil together are um, doing. Look at how beautifully my nails match, wow. And then here you can see are some of those rhinestones that we brought in and it just makes for a really beautiful birthday card. Yes, thank you for the hearts, my friends. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I know a lot of you are ocean fans, so let me keep going on that ocean theme. So I've done some of the pre-work for my second project. So this time I'm bringing in a piece of crumb cake and I've already ran it through the Baby Boss with this embossing folder that has all of these different thank you in different languages. So it's a little hard to see right now, but we're gonna make that pop up a little bit. And we're gonna do that with our Whisper White ink. I'm going to use a sponge dauber to pick up that craft ink. And now lightly, we're gonna go over top of the um, words. And that's just going to add a little bit of highlight to those words to help them pop off the page. <clears throat> so go all the way around, just like so. Okay, now I'm going to take my lid, which I've already added some ink refill to, and I'm going to grab a water painter and pick up some of that um, juicy little ink that I've added there. And now we're going to tap it so that we get that white spray happening, just like the ocean has sprayed onto our card front. Fun, right? It's so simple, but it just adds that detail that is really, really nice to look at. Now I've already gone ahead and pre-cut one of the Pacific Point foil waves. And just to kind of make sure that I'm not going to mess with the splatter, I'm just going to use my heat tool to speed up the drying. Craft ink is one of those inks that does take a few minutes. And of course we've added some water to it. So it does take, you know, if I was to air dry it, it would take a couple of minutes, but we're gonna speed it up because Ain't nobody got time for that right now. We have crafting to do. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure that this is all dry. But I love how um, bright the white shows up on crumb cake. Okay, now we're going to use this little um, hexagon that we've made with my favorite, the beautiful shapes dies. So that's this one here. And we're going to put the wave inside the window. So I'm going to use a little bit of stamp and seal to kind of hold that in place for us, just like that. And then we're going to layer this. It's easier if I do it this way. So that that's kind of in the center, just like that. Now I'm going to use my snips and I'm going to cut off the pieces that we don't want to see on the outside edge of the card. Okay. Now I've got a piece of basic white that's cut just a quarter inch bigger than our crumb cake. And so I'm going to flip this over and add some dimensionals. Now I have been using black dimensionals now for a while. I really like them because when you buy a package of black dimensionals, it comes with both small and large dimensionals to work with so that you get a lot more for your one item code. So if you're somebody who prefers the white, yeah, go ahead and use those, but it's just a little bit easier to make sure that you've always got small and big dimensionals in your collection. So I'm just taking off the backings. What's the weirdest place you've found a dimensional backing? One time I was um, working out and my trainer was like, what is on your face? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's a dimensional backing. <clears throat> Weird place, or oh, I've seen them on my dog's nose before. So here we've got this beautiful um, highlight of the, the wave showing through. Now I'm bringing in another piece of basic white cardstock and I'm going to bring in that little pelican. We're going to use soft suede craft ink. No, not craft, just classic. We're going to use the soft suede and I'm going to just ink up the wood part of it. And then I'm going to use my basic black marker 
and we're going to color over the pelican. So I've got two different um, colors that are going on with this image. So we'll stamp that. So now you've got the line drawing of the pelican and we've got this wood. Now I'm bringing in a, a blender pen, which is like as old as I've been crafting. Um, for those of you who just tuned in, today is my 19th anniversary with Stampin' Up. Uh, so I'm just gonna go over top of the soft suede and, and blend that color so it looks like we've colored it in with a soft suede marker. So fun, right? With the pelican, I wanted to make the bill kind of a petal pink color. So we're gonna go with the pelican bill. And then whenever I have a an image that's supposed to be white, I like to use pool party to kind of create a little bit of shadow because it just makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional than if you were to just leave it pure white. So there we have that look to it. Okay, let me show you the finished project. Are you ready? There we have it. So adding a little bit of this thread, the linen thread, just kind of adds to that feeling of the, um, like the natural wood that you see on that, that card. There you can see our little wave and all our little splatter with the thank you images in the background. Oh, you like it, yay. Okay, awesome. Let's move on to the final card. This is the PYP card. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, PYP stands for pee your pants. And you know, it's just because sometimes there's techniques and things that are so much fun that you just wanna pee your pants. <clears throat> okay, we're bringing in this beautiful wave from the Waves of Inspiration stamp set. And we're going to add Pacific Point to the wave. And we're gonna stamp that onto our basic white. Okay, gorgeous. Now we're bringing in our blending brushes and we're going to use Coastal Cabana. Again, we're playing off the colors that are in the designer series paper. And we're gonna go over top of that wave that we've just created. And we're gonna go over the lines of the wave because we want it to feel like ocean spray is coming off of the wave design. So we're starting off the page and just bringing in that ink, really giving it a good feel, just like that. Okay, next, we're gonna add a little bit more spray because gosh, you can't have too much of that, especially when you have an image that looks like this. So we're gonna use Pool Party and we're going to use the lid and we're gonna flick the marker so that we get a little bit of ocean spray happening there. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring back in that craft ink. So I'm gonna use my Whisper White. We've already created a little palette there. What did I do with my water painter? There it is. We're gonna pick that up and then we're going to splatter that onto our wave. Okay, one of the things that is in this stamp set that I just think is so fun <clears throat> is this little tiny uh, bird. So it would be a type of gull. So this is the naturalist in me coming back. Everybody uses the term seagulls, but that's just a common word that kind of refers to all birds, like all seabirds. So um, there are different kinds of gulls. Like here in, in Edmonton, we've got ring-billed gulls and sometimes you'll see California gulls. So yeah, just kind of a fun fact. Oh, look at I overshot that, okay? And we're gonna do a couple over here, just like that. So you get these little fun birds in the background. <clears throat> now to finish off this project, I brought in the Playful Alphabet. So these dies are just the perfect size for using for card making because they are nice and small. They're about an inch high on all of them. And so here you can see a little punny card that we've created using the Playful Alphabet. So see you soon. Ha <laughs> ha, so fun.
And again, we've added a few of those rhinestones in there. So just a, a fun little project using that new suite. So here you can see are the projects that I've showcased for you today. And I wanted to show you one more. This is kind of a silly card, but um, look at this. So those are the gumballs that are in the mini catalog right now. Um, well, they're not called gumballs. They're like some kind of bead. I can't remember. But um, you can make a shaker card. So all I did for this one was I cut out that wave shape from the basic white, but then I didn't use the basic white pieces. I cut it out in blue. I stuck it on and then I put vellum on the underside of it to hold all of those little beads in. And that creates that wave, the motion in the ocean kind of feel. Cool, right? Okay, I'm gonna flip you around one more time so we can chat face to face. There we go, hi. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you who have followed along with me throughout these um, videos, I just wanted to say a huge thank you. And because today is my 19th anniversary with Stampin' Up, um, if you place an order today, I'm going to be sending you a special card in the mail. So um, March 11th, if you place an order on March 11th, everybody who places their order today is going to receive a special card in the mail from me as a thank you for following along. So pay attention, the Waves in the Ocean is available until May 2nd, I believe I said. I'm gonna double check. <clears throat> May 2nd, mm -hmm. May 2nd. And then remember, we've got the um, Mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine that is available just until the end of the month at the special price of 65.50. My friends, have an amazing weekend and I hope to craft with you soon. Bye for now.